Hi, it's BTNE channel, and welcome to another episode of Beyond the Naked Eye. One of the most useful microbes known to man is Baker's yeast, also known as Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Since ancient Egypt, yeast was used to bake flatbreads, but there are still speculation how this actually happened. One theory mentions bakery products being left for longer than usual on a warm day before baking. This action made dough lighter and tastier than any previous flatbreads produced by Egyptians. Nowadays, production of yeast is global and valued at $3.9 billion. Yeast is not only used in baking, but also in brewing and winemaking. Without it, you could forget about producing tasty beer and wine. So what is so special about this extraordinary microbe? Cerevisiae's ability to convert sugars present in a dough into carbon dioxide and ethanol makes it special and so useful to humankind. Yeast performs fermentation to obtain energy by converting sugars into alcohol. In 1850s, French chemist and microbiologist Louis Pasteur became the first scientist to study fermentation. He demonstrated that this operation was conducted by living cells. Since then, a lot more study was done. DNA was mapped and yeast became domesticated living creature, used for our benefit. Yeast cells belong to the fungus family. They are unicellular microbes, also known as eukaryotic. You can see them very clearly on this video. They vary slightly in shape and sizes, but they are basically the same living thing. Yeast morphology is quite simple. They are generally larger in size than bacteria. Their size varies from 1 to 5 microns wide and 5 to 30 microns in the length. Cells can be egg-shaped, some are elongated or spherical. Yeast cells lack flagella and other organs of locomotion. They simply don't move as other typical microbes found in wet environments. We've arrived now to end of my dialogue. I hope that you will enjoy the rest of this beautiful video. Please consider supporting this channel and I hope to see you again.